Okay, this video is how to repair um, Galaxy Note 3. And this goes to all Note 3 that display the message um, could not do normal boot. This is when you flash uh, a file or a recovery file that isn't compatible with the device. Now, this video will show you how to fix this. Now, first, you need to download the the file, the original file, flash file for this specific model. As you can see here, I'm using a best smart tool. There you see I have um, NV. Right, so there you have it. Okay. With BST, you have to uh, scan to ensure that the device is found. There you go. So now we have flash. So there you have it. And as you can see on the phone, UDC start, which means it's the correct flash file for this phone. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause the video a bit that this takes some time and when it's near to finish I'll come back to it so as you can see it's still going right so here we go and we see some progress right there. It's the last of it. So this should correct all system errors. Right, there you go. See flash complete. Right, there you have it. And now this should right there you can see all the drivers installing, right? Now it's going to be stuck on this screen for maybe like five to eight minutes. So um I won't hold the phone and um I'm actually recording this with Galaxy Note 4. Right, there you can see Android upgrading its system, so this will be up in a couple of minutes. Right, as you can see, it's still going. I have to stop the video to save memory, and plus it's a waste of time to be holding the, the camera while this is doing, but I'm going to pause it back and allow it to boot in. Then I'll show you. Hundred percent fix for all galaxies. One, two, three, four, and five. If you ever see that message about could not be found. Alright, so there you have it. Finish. You can see right there it disconnected and connected to mass storage. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but obviously something else went wrong. Okay, now, as you can see, we have a problem here. 
Uh, this is where you do a, a factory set of the phone, clear all parts and bring it back to stop. But as you can see, the phone has booted, so all you need to do from here is do a factory reset. Thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, ask questions, and I will see how best I can assist you. Thank you.